If evolution is proven to be a fact, what happens to the Bible and the stories of creation? Evolution is obviously true, confirmed by the fossil record and genetics, and it tells us important things about the Bible and the Christian religion. Was Adam a squat, furry hominid? Isn't this what Christian evolutionists are telling us? But if so, how did our ancestors sin with no knowledge of good and evil and the mental capacity of a five-year-old? Why did trillions of animals have to suffer and die before human beings evolved the mental capacity to understand concepts like thou shalt not kill and thou shalt not commit adultery? After all, no other earth creatures understand such concepts. Evolution completely shatters the biblical fairy tale that human beings are responsible for causing suffering and death to enter a perfect world. Christianity is left with two ludicrous options. Adam named the dinosaurs 6,000 years ago, as I explain herein. Adam was a hominid with the intellect of a five-year-old and could not have understood what God was going on about. His language was a few grunts and pointing. In the meantime, trillions of animals had suffered and died while Adam was evolving over millions of years to have the mental capacity of a five-year-old. Thus, the only candidate for the original sinner is the Creator who created this mess we live and die in. This in turn destroys the gospel of the evangelist Paul, who said Jesus was a second Adam, sent to atone for the sin of the first Adam. The only sin of the first Adam was God's sin against him, if there is a God. While evolution doesn't absolutely prove that some sort of God, however unlikely, didn't play some sort of role in evolution, it does confirm that the Bible was authored by primitive human beings, not by any sort of knowledgeable God. Here's why. According to the Bible, human beings were created around 6,000 years ago as immortal beings in a perfect Garden of Eden. How do we know this was around 6,000 years ago? Because the Bible has genealogies going from Jesus all the way back to Adam. The math is not all that complicated. Now, many Bible apologists will argue that the seven days of creation were not actual days, but eons. However, that argument makes absolutely no difference in terms of the authenticity of the Bible. Here's why. According to the Bible, in its second creation account, yes, there are two completely contradictory creation accounts in Genesis, Adam named all the animals before Eve was created. At this point, Eve had obviously not eaten the forbidden fruit, since she didn't exist, so Adam and all the animals were still immortal. 